section, we're going to learn about signs for um, playing inside and outside. First sign we're going to learn is the sign for ball. Take our two hands in our five shape but bent, put them together in the shape of a ball. Ball. Balloon, we're going to take our S hand shape again, put it towards our mouth, left hand covering it, and act like we're blowing up a balloon. Balloon. Block. Take the B letter hand shape, put it at your sides first, out in front of you, and then on top of each other in the shape of a block. Block. If you were talking on a smaller block, you would sign it closer together, smaller. A bigger block, sign it further apart. Sign for book. Two flat hands, put them together and open them. Book. Sign for bubbles. We're going to take our five hand shapes face down and bent and kind of make them dance and jiggle a little bit like to indicate like how, how bubbles move and pop. Bubbles. Sign for doll. Take our X hand shape and bring it down our nose two times. Doll. Sign for toy. There's two different ways you can sign toy. Take the letter T hand shape. Kind of shake it out of your body two times, toy, or you can finger spell it, T-O-Y, toy. Sign for pen, This our left hand is going to represent paper, um, thumb and index finger together to represent the, the point of the pen and act like you're writing, pen. Paper, we're going to take our left hand out again and our right hand and gently brush it up towards our body with our right hand. Paper. Sign for paint can be done two ways. You can either do, as this is the wall and this is your paintbrush, go up and down paint. Or you can use two fingers, your middle finger and index finger, up and down. Paint. The sign for sand and dirt are the same thing. We're going to take our hands together as the bent O hand shape and kind of move them together like we're feeling the grittiness of some sand or dirt. Sand. Sign for bucket. Take our C hand shapes that are a little bit wide and show the shape of a bucket going from the top to the bottom. And then we're going to use our S hand shape on, with our right hand and indicate the, um, the handle of the bucket. So bucket. Shovel. We're going to act like we're shoveling for this one. Take your right and your left hand and make a shoveling motion. Shovel. For swing, first we're going to make the sign for sit, which is your index and middle, middle finger of your left hand with your index and your finger of your right hand on top of it. Sit. And we're just going to move it back and forth like we're swinging. Swing. Swing. For slide, our left hand is going to represent the slide. Our right hand is going to represent the body going down the slide, the legs. Slide. Play, you're going to take two Y hand shapes and gently shake them out in front of you. Play. Sign for push, just going to act like we're pushing. Push. Push. Sign for tree looks like a tree. This is going to be the trunk of the tree. This is the grass. And we're going to shake the leaves in the wind. Tree. Tree. Sign for zoo. We're going to fingerspell once again. Make a Z O O. Zoo. Sign for flower. Looks like you're smelling a flower. We're going to take our bent O hand shape again and put it on both sides of your nose. Flower. <clears throat> the sign for sun has two signs as well. The first one I learned is first make an O in the sky and then show light coming down from the sun. Sun. The other option you can do is making a C hand shape next to your eye and putting it up into the sky. Sun. 
rock, S handshake with your left hand, S handshake with your right hand, put it on top of each other. Rock. And for rain, we're just going to use um, our fingers to represent raindrops coming down from the sky and bring them down. Rain. If it was raining really hard, you might do something like this to indicate that the rain is coming down very hard. Very soft rain, slow it down. And that's it for the end of this lesson. Thanks.